Hello and welcome to another Sprues and Brews unboxing. Today we were going to look at the Extremis edition of the Age of Sigma starter set. However, due to the machinations of chaos, we've actually received a German version. So uh, we're just waiting for an English version to come from Games Workshop because I can't really give a full uh, informed review uh, without being able to see the, the kind of printed materials in there. So what we thought we'd do instead is have a look at the scenery in here, check out the Sprues and check out the paint set that has come out to accompany this. So yeah, massive thanks to Games Workshop for sending this stuff over for us to do a bit of a review for you guys. So once we've got the English version of the uh, Extremist starter set, I'll do a full unboxing, we'll look through all the printed materials, the scenarios, all that kind of stuff in there. However, today, yeah, we're gonna have a look at this stuff. So first of all, we're gonna have a look at the scenery that comes in this box. Now, like with the models from Dominion, which were push fit, and the starter set models themselves, this scenery is indeed push fit as well, and it looks really, really nice. So you get a couple of pieces in here. There's this big domed piece, which currently I believe is exclusive to this box, and it looks really, really nice. Again, as a push fit kit, it's going to be really easy to uh, to put together as well. So, yeah, I I'm a bit of a sucker for scenery. And I really enjoy uh, painting it, so I'm probably going to have to pick up a couple of sets of these to fill out a uh, a board with some um, Dawnbringer kind of themed scenery with all their uh, the cities that they're building. So yeah, really really cool looking stuff. So in addition to that, you also get the kind of new I say ruins. It's more of a building under construction. Really really nice frame again with some great detail on it. They've um, they've done some great scenery over the years, but Age of Sigmar hasn't had, apart from the Shattered Dominion, which was a while ago now, uh, we haven't had any kind of like generic, generic buildings to represent the, uh, I guess the uh, the cities that the, uh, the cities of Sigmar are based on. So this is kind of representing the stuff that is being built in the Mortal Realms on these Dawnbringer Crusades, which is really, really cool. Again, you get a couple of frames of these, and this is also included in the expansion box that is uh, coming out alongside this, also for pre-order today. But yeah, I really, really like this stuff. It's really cool. I uh, I think a kind of a full city under construction made of this would be really good. And what you can do is kind of slide the components of the buildings together to make a more kind of solid structure as well, which is cool. And the final piece of scenery in that range is the uh, the statue as well. So you get one of these in the extremist box. I believe in the expansion box you get two of these. And again, it's all push fit. It all should be fairly simple to paint up as well. You could do a lot of the work with uh, with contrast and sprays, really. Get the base colours down with sprays, go into the details with contrast. Uh, and yeah, obviously you can go to town and uh, spend hours painting them, but I think it'd be really good to get these battle ready really quickly and on the battlefield. So what I'll do is have a quick look at the instructions for these as well. So if we flip forward in the construction manual, Again, Extremes contains a lot of the models that is in Dominion. We'll have a look at that properly when we uh, we get to that full part of the review. However, I thought we'd just have a look at the instruction manual for the, the buildings in here. So again, push fit, um, should go together really nicely. Not too many parts as well, so it shouldn't take too long to get this ready for the battlefield, which is good. Again, quite quite simple to build. Really, really good to see. You know, sometimes you just want to get the uh, the battlefield ready and good to go. And I hope they do a few more kind of battlefield in a box style things for um, this edition of Age of Sigma. You know, for 40k in Kill Team, we're seeing some orc scenery. So it'd be nice to have a few more boxes with a few different, you know, new frames of scenery, so we can have some different style battlefields. It'd be nice to see some kind of. Um, Cruel Boy's Den, some kind of swampy stuff. I think that'd be really cool. But yeah, this scenery looks really, really easy to put together. So yeah, looking forward to building it. And uh, what I'll do, I'll show you what it looks like once it's built. And here's the scenery assembled. And I've got to say, it is really, really nice. So it is all completely push fit with some really interesting design elements. These little faces on here essentially lock in these three parts. So yeah, 
completely solid, not a drop of glue used on these. Some really nice details, such as a big swirling vortex underneath it. These are going to be so nice to, to paint up. I kind of hope that they expand this range out because it is really, really nice. The statue comes with a choice of two heads as well. So I'm um, keeping a spare head to use as a bit of basing material for my cruel boys. But yeah, really cool and impressive model. If we get a Stormcast for reference, big old pieces of scenery. Uh, so yeah, really nice to see in the uh, in the set. This one I believe is exclusive to this box at the minute. Um, it is a separate sprue, so presumably this will be released separately or be in another kind of box maybe at some point, but at the minute this one is exclusive. And then you get a little bit of kind of, I suppose a barricade, a pile of boxes that you can use as a bit of cover. And then you get two bigger buildings. And again, these are hefty old buildings with some really nice detail on them. Really nice embossed door. Yeah, these are really, really good. And again, no glue used at all on any of this stuff. It is all just push fit. So yeah, very, very nice. I believe you get that that and two of the statues in the expansion box uh, along with another set of boards so yeah really good uh, range of scenery and I hope we see some more added to it. In both the box in the expansion box you also get a playing surface as well so this folds out into a playing surface for you to use for your games of Age of Sigma and again these are all um, fit sizes so you can put multiple ones together to make a, a quote marks legal battlefield. Um, I believe two of these will give you the smallest playing surface for for games of Age of Sigma. So straight out of the starter set if you pick up that expansion box put these two towers together you've got a, uh, a surface to play your games on and you'll have all that scenery as well which is a nice touch. The reverse of it is also a different design so you can go for a more uh, kind of sandy Roma Beast style vibe as well so yeah they're really cool uh, we've used some of these for Age of Sigmar stuff um, it's, it's a little bit glossy for the studio lights in here um, but absolutely no issues at all as a playing surface especially if you're playing on like a dining room table or something as well it gives you a protected surface that you can put your models on and roll your dice on and B kind of themes it to the armies as well, especially if you're starting out. You know, we're we're lucky enough to have a big board set out and multiple different mats we can use to play the games on. You know, if you're just starting out the hobby, being able to pick this up in a starter set is really cool as well. And one of the other things that they've got coming up for pre-order today as well is a set, uh, multiple sets of uh, paints. So they've got a general set that covers all the colours that you'd need to paint the contents of the new starter set. But then they've also got two boxes. Uh, one aimed around the Stormcast and one aimed around the Uruk War Clans. And yet Games Workshop very kindly sent us as well the Uruk War Clans uh, paint set. So really really cool idea. Basically it gives you uh, the paints that you'd need in order to paint the Cruel Boys and some gut rippers to build and paint as well. So let's pop this open and see what exactly we get in here. So I remember back way in the midst of time when I first started the hobby I remember uh, excitedly picking up a um, a paint set just because it was a nice way of having a collection of your kind of prime colours that you're going to use without getting too intimidated by the, the rack of paints and, and knowing which ones to pick up. So for a kind of intro box you do need a selection of paints that you can use and sometimes on some of those older sets there were a few colours that maybe weren't go-to paints. For this one I think we've got a decent selection so what we'll do is have a look at the paints in here first. So we've got Uruk Flesh, which is the new colour that they released alongside the Dominion box. So yeah, really, really recent paint and uh, a nice vivid green colour for your flesh of your Uruk. So that's cool to see it in there. You also get a pot of Mephiston Red. Again, another good colour, one that people are going to pick up regularly as well. We have got some Lead Belcher. Again, another go-to paint. You're going to need this, so uh, yeah, definitely worth having in the set. We also get some Steel Legion Drab. I use this for doing the edges of bases, and a nice, it's a nice, uh, I guess, leather colour for the uh, the, cloak, the cloaks and the kind of robes and stuff on them. Uh, shame we didn't get the new 
uh, I forget what it's called, the new brown that they brought out alongside Dominion. But uh, you know, we've got the, the Uruk flesh in there, so that's pretty good. And again, this is a colour that I use quite regularly anyway. We then get a pot of Agrax Shade. It is worth pointing out this is a standard paint pot size where normally Agrax comes in like a double, a double pot. Uh, but it's, it's the same stuff, it's uh, perfectly usable. And then the same with the Stirland Mud. We get a, uh, again, a smaller pot. Um, so it's not, if you're, if you're buying it, it'd be double the price as well though, so. Yeah, it's one of those. So, you get the six paints. So, really, you're talking, what? 15 quid for the paints, give or take. Uh, you also get the Cruel Boys, the bases for the Cruel Boys, and a starter paintbrush as well. Now, I've not used this brush, so I can't speak for it yet. Uh, I wouldn't expect it to be the most amazing brush in the world. But it will certainly get you going when you're learning to paint. Uh, synthetic, I believe. And, um, you know, it's, it's fine enough to be able to paint up the stuff in that box. You know, certainly it's your first paintbrush. Now, it could be that you try out this set, paint up some models and decide actually you want a selection of different brushes in there. Again, great. This is... This a box isn't really aimed at, you know, experts. People are veterans to the hobby. It's more so for someone who's picked up this starter set and wants to be able to paint the miniatures in it, which is a really good thing to do. And speaking of painting miniatures, you get a frame, a bespoke frame of three uh, gut rippers. So yeah, if somebody wanted to maybe dip their toe into painting, pick up this box and um, kind of learn the ropes, give it a go painting and see if they enjoy it before they commit to the full game, Again, that's really nice. What's cool as well is, obviously in the um, the Dominion box and in the starter set, you get a frame of 10 gut rippers. Now, we've seen that there's a multi-part kit coming out soon, which has got command options. With this sprue of three, what you could do is if you've got some horns and banners and, and spare bits and bobs, you could actually convert up these guys into a, a command squad that you can drop into your squad. Um, so yeah, there, there, there may well be a uh, a reason for picking this up for, for veterans to the hobby. And like we've just seen on the paint colours, a lot of them I use anyway. Uh, at the time of recording this, I don't know what the RRP of this is. Like I say, the paints alone are around £15. So, you know, if we're talking somewhere around the £18 mark, arguably even £20, you've got three miniatures and six paints that you're going to use. The brush, not everyone will use, but you know it's certainly handy if, even if you used it just for putting um, basing materials down or sand or something on bases. So, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a good box. Now they have got a um, they have got a Stormcast one that's coming out alongside this, uh, and again that contains all the colours that you'd need to paint your Stormcast. So you've got golds in there, you've got blues in there. Again, a pretty good selection of paints. And I think you get two Vindictors in that box as well. So again, if you're building your stuff out of Dominion or the starter set, what you can do then is build your banners, build your um, kind of squad leaders, but then you've got some spare, just spear-armed Stormcast to swap them out if you did want to run them as a big squad of 10 rather than two squads of five. So yeah, definitely handy having some extra models to use for command stuff. Now on the back of the box you also get a kind of mini painting guide as well. It's not in massive detail, it basically tells you what colours to put where and it also has the assembly instructions on there as well. I do know that, uh, I think today at the time of recording, a, a video by Nick Baton's gone up on the Warhammer TV um, YouTube page telling you exactly how to use the contents of this to paint the model, so yeah, really good. I would have liked this kind of thing as a newcomer to the hobby. It's definitely the kind of thing I'd have probably picked up alongside, you know, maybe the introductionary magazine or something if I was kind of getting into it. So, yeah, definitely see the appeal of this. And I like that they've, you've got the option. You can go down the route of here's a box with all the paint you'll need or here's a box for a specific faction and here's some models to paint up as well. So, yeah, I think this is really cool. So, yeah, that was a quick look at the scenery from the Extremist box 
and a look at the Uruk War Clans paint set. Like I say, once we've got the English version of the starter set, we'll do a full unboxing of that and go through all the, uh, the, the mini rule book and the scenarios and all the cool stuff that's in that set. Like I say, I couldn't really give a fair review not being able to read the uh, the German version that we got sent. So I hope you enjoyed that. I know it's a quick look at the uh, the contents there. I am excited to paint up that new scenery as well. So hopefully in the next couple of battle reports that we're going to do on Saturdays, you might even see that scenery in there as well, maybe in the next one. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you've uh, enjoyed this. Check out spruceandbrews.com where we'll be covering uh, a lot of the stuff from the starter set as well. So until next time, see you later.